that you can pay 280 bucks or it's like 240 bucks now uh, for almost the performance of a rapid fire. That's pretty amazing. So you really don't need modules actually. So in today's video, we're going to be comparing the rapid fire, the LRC module against the sky zones and the Iomways in abandoned building where there's a lot of interference. Now, immediately what I can tell you is that the rapid fire and from my experience is the best and it just picks up the signal the best and yeah, it's just overall performs the best out of everything. Next down the line, it was the LRC before I tested these two, but actually between the sky zone and the Iomways, it was actually the sky zone. The sky zones... Uh, performance was slightly noticeably better than the Iomwe. I would put it around 10% noticeably better. And then down the line, it was between the LRC and the Iomwe. So I'd put the Sky Zone's receiver sensitivity or the way that it's doing its diversity is, is slightly better than the Iomwe. Also, the image quality is superb, like really superb. Um, I was still able to see those wires that are hanging down the building because I've never flown this one in that location. And um, it was just uh, phenomenal. And now I could also see the same on Iomwe V2S, but everything was very blocky, like pixelated because of the resolution. This one, just really nice colors, actually better than the HDOs. Uh, I really enjoyed it, actually. So let's talk a little bit more about the experience and what happens when I start to lose signal. Now, in terms of rapid fire, I mean, it'll catch on a hair and try to throw you a frame. And that's how I was able to find my quad again. It'll still try to construct an image with whatever it has with the frame synced into place. So you can kind of make out a horizon, a window, like really vaguely. And you're like on just that hair of losing signal, like just barely coming in off, bouncing off of something, which I find absolutely phenomenal. I've never seen anything like it. The LRC, um, it's okay. It does pick back up lock pretty quickly. Now the sky zones here were doing pretty good. When it was picking back the signal up, it was trying to reconstruct the image, but while syncing it, I do get the image flipping and that can kind of disorient you while you're flying. Uh, so just try to keep a mental image of where you are and kind of how fast your motion is to get out of that tight situation. However, when it picks the lock back up, it really quickly starts picking everything up. The Iomwe outperformed of what I originally thought it would do. It did as good as the LRC. I was still able to make it through the roof. Actually, these two, I don't consider that much of a difference. Maybe I would say the Sky Zone is 7 to 5% better than the Iomwe. And uh, it's better than the LRC, in my opinion, because I didn't have as much confidence as the uh, Sky Zones gave me. Iomwe also gave me slightly more confidence than the LRC. Uh, so that's also a good thing. So this is kind of, you know, it's not really a definitive test. But what I can tell you is that the Sky Zone's inbuilt receivers, also the Iomwe's, are pretty darn good, which was really, really amazing. And if you're curious, what antennas I was using again uh, i'll have them linked down below it's a luminaire axi 2 this really long one and this uh i think it's a uruav stubby one oh no it's not i don't know what it is but i'll have it linked down below i know which one i purchased so i'll once i find it then i'll, I'll link it down below so in terms of overall experience i mean this is really great that you can pay 280 bucks or it's like 240 bucks now uh for almost the performance of a rapid fire that's pretty amazing so you really don't need modules actually um, unless it's the rapid fire, probably the clear view. I've never tested the clear view myself, but yeah, they actually perform really great. I was very surprised. I mean, this is only one test. I'll have more upcoming, but I don't know how many more because I am giving away the new skies, these, these sky zones and also the Ion ways to my Patreons. So make sure you come join my Patreon so you don't miss out. New Patreons every month, they're eligible for even another giveaway. So if there's like five new Patreons and those five will have a chance to win something else like a QX7 right now. So if, if I personally saw this video, I'd actually be very happy if I purchased any of these two. Um, yeah, they're actually usable and I was really quite surprised. Now that the main test is going to be comparing them to the True D because I didn't get to do it today because it was too goddamn hot. But uh, we'll get to do that later on. And, well, that's it, guys. I'll have everything linked down below. If you go ahead and check them out, that would be super great. I'll play the playback for you guys so you guys could watch it and decide for yourself, basically. But out of the experience and the more flights that I took in, I did notice that the Sky Zone is the runner-up to the Fat Shark uh, Rapid Fire, which is really, really great. That means, I mean, that is the best bang for your buck currently. 230 bucks is performing like a $650 goggle. That's crazy. And, well, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.